Let's look at how to factor a difference of cubes. So difference of cubes follows the same pattern as the sum of cubes, it's just a difference of cubes. So let's write out a cubed minus b cubed would factor into a binomial and a trinomial. We'd have the cube root of each of those first two terms, so that would be the cube root of a cubed is a, and the cube root of b cubed is b, and then we always use the same original sign, so it's minus then our signs are always gonna be the same pattern. So this will be minus plus plus, or same as what we started with, opposite of that, and then always positive. So that phrase soap works to help you remember the signs. So minus plus plus, remember we square the first term in the binomial to get the first term in the trinomial, so that'll be a squared. Then we need to square the last term to get the last term in the trinomial, so that'll be b squared. And then we multiply these together, ignore the sign because you've already put the pattern of signs in place. So that is the pattern for sum, difference of cubes, which is very similar to the sum of cubes. It just has different signs. So let's just look at two examples of this type. So if I see I have a cubed minus 729, I need to get the cube root of a cubed, which is a, minus the cube root of 729, which most of us do not have memorized, so let's type that in. And your cube root button is math option four in your graphing calculator. That'll help you get the little cube root symbol to show up. Or in Desmos, it's under functions, and then go all the way down and click the one in the middle that has that nth root option. So then you hit 729, and you see that the cube root of 729 is nine. You have a binomial and a trinomial factor that we're working on. Put the signs in place, so we have minus, plus, plus are always the signs for these. And then we need to square the first term in the binomial to get the first term in the trinomial. So that'll be a squared. Square the last term in the binomial to get the last term in the trinomial, so that'll be 81. Then multiply these two together and put them in the middle. But don't worry about the sign, because you've already put that in place. All right, so that's it for that one. Let's look at another one. Let's look at this 29. That has some personality. We got 40 C cubed minus 625 D cubed. So I can tell that 40 and 625 would both divide evenly by five. So let's try taking that out and see what happens. If we take out the five, we would have eight C cubed minus 125 d cubed and then what's left there is now a difference of two cubes where here it was not 40 is not a perfect cube and 625 is not either so now we can factor it into the binomial and the trinomial let's go ahead and put the signs in there we know it's going to be minus plus plus or let's think of it the other way same as what we started with which is minus and then opposite of that and then always positive that's where soap comes from. The cube root of 8c cubed is 2c, and the cube root of 125d cubed is 5d. Then square the first term in the binomial to get the first term in the trinomial, which is 4c squared. Square the last term in the binomial to get the last term in the trinomial, which is 25d squared. And then multiply these two together and put them in the middle. So that'll be 10 cd all right so that's it for that one and hopefully that gets you started on the difference of cubes